Hello everyone, I decided to make this video because I had an idea to actually take this car on a journey, but maybe more on a, more about that later. But recently I discovered that more than usual uh, the engine smokes quite badly on the diesel. it always burned oil finally I decided to acknowledge that and to don't make whole engine rebuild I decided to give it a try so engine cleaner is actually kerosene probably most of all So right now it actually doesn't knock. Normally you can hear it a, a much much clearer. Maybe that's because I put some thicker oil for the hot summer. All right, so temperature is stable now. It was about 20 minutes and it's about three, yes, sorry, three bars. took the spark plugs out so now I let it cool down a little bit I don't want to risk self-ignite of that because I don't know what's the temperature of that uh, and I will pour it straight to the cylinder and let it sink for for a night You can see that uh, there is something inside. All right, so this is the next day. I cannot see any left of leftovers of the, <coughs> of the specific inside the cylinder. So I think it all came through the rings and now it's in the oil. All right, so I have the cover off. As you can see, it's quite dirty in here. like old oil and most important I don't know oh, all right as you can see the top of the piston had some residue but other thing that I want to check the difference between cleaning the engine with or without the engine flush so I will try to clean it somewhere in here so that's clearly clear rack with nothing on it So for now I'm gonna put it back together, uh, run it for 10 to 15 minutes because all the kerosene came through the rings into oil so now it's exactly the same as the producer set. Here you can see under the valve cover. It's quite dirty. Cleaning a little bit, maybe with something more harsh, it would be better. But I want to try the flash.
All right, so this is the first startup with the engine flash inside. Smells kind of funny, but that will be expected. And I, I will let uh, this engine to get to the operating temps for about 15 minutes and then I will drain the oil. So it's about free. And it's maybe a little bit colder than the than previous. So I think not much difference in the pressure. So yeah. So that's the first batch of oil. It's quite dark. All right, so the oil is still dripping. I already took the valve cover off and if I have to be honest I thought that that will be a little bit bigger difference there's still dirty that's the spot that I cleaned, cleaned before uh, once, once again clear rack and I will try to clean this spot Valve cover. Where is the place? I will take once again clean, dry towel. It's coming out, but it's not something crazy. So here have the oil. It's literally black. That's the oil which was inside. 10W60 and it was inside for about two months maybe and one event maybe that stuff cleaned something I don't know I will put the other other bottle and put the shitty oil and do the same thing once again so now everything is all back together this quality protect it was the cheapest oil I could find in the shop in the stores. So the shit oil is in. A little bit more than, f than the full indicator. But I think that's fine. So now I will gonna start it and then I will add the cleaner to the cylinder. My phone is fine, don't worry. So I will let it heat up, uh, build all the pressure, and then. For now it's quite low, so I think we're gonna be. Go I think it will go up. I just took her to like 10 kilometers right to the gas station and back. Now I will show you how the engine oil looks. So that's the result. As expected, it's it looks brand new. So yeah. And now when I put the flush inside, if the flush will work, I think we should see this to be very very dark. So now with the second part, engine is really really hot. Second batch is in. I will let it sit for I don't know maybe hour or two. And then I will start it again, let it run, heat up and flush with the good oil. Or maybe I will I still have some of this shit oil left. So I think I will drain this oil with, with the engine flush in it. And uh, then 
top it off with the sheet oil, make it run, then drain it and just then uh, put the fresh oil filter and good oil. All right, so that was around two hours. Uh, I, I looked inside the cylinder, in the cylinder two and four, there was still some of this, some of this stuff left. Uh, I didn't want to wait more, so I took the syringe and sucked it off and put it to the and put it inside the engine oil. So now I'm gonna crank it to let it all come out, and then I'm gonna start it. I just started it and as you can see it's burning off the leftovers. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Engine still runs smooth so I will pressure this line still up. So I drained the basket for with the old oil and besides that it's really really dark I don't see any I don't see any shiny parts, so that's good. The fan just stopped. Uh, car was car is running for 20 minutes maybe. Uh, it stopped smoking, so I think I'm gonna shut it down and drain the oil. It's been about a week after all this flushing. I put some distance on the car and I will show you what the oil looks like now. I don't know if you will be able to see that, but but oil looks good. But unfortunately, I have to say that all this thing with the flushing didn't didn't work for me because the car still smokes really really bad I hope that the oil rings will move or they were clog or something maybe probably they still are but all that work didn't but all that flashing didn't bring them to life it's, that's nothing unexpected so now I will show you how bad is it 
when I was driving the car, I could smell the burning oil. And also my colleague said that uh, my car smokes. So yeah, there's, there's no easy solution for that, I think. So the car is now hot. I did like 50 km, so it's, just, it's in the operating temp. And I will show you now how, <coughs> and now I will show you how it, how it looks like. Probably, as you could see, I don't know how, how good uh, it still smokes really, really bad on the diesel. I think that's prime example of the of the oil rings on the piston going bad. So to be to be finished with this test, I will now check the compression. I will check if there's any difference in this compartment. So I did that as mainly for me because there's a lot of advertisement uh, behind the engine flash and all that stuff. And I wanted to try it myself to be, to have the answer, to get the answer if it really works or it's just bullshit. And it probably is, maybe it's good for the oil change. So if you want to flash your old oil, or you bought the car and you don't know what oil is inside and you want to check change change the oil and have and be sure that your oil is your oil if you know what i mean but it won't i don't think it will fix <laughs> mechanical problems in your engine so yeah, i don't think anybody yeah but now the oil pressure is low because it's really really hot oil but this is normal for this car, or maybe for this engine. I'm not sure, but I think on this particular product, they didn't say that it will fix my, my uh, issues, the rings stuff, but it's pretty much the same for all of them. There's almost only kerosene inside and not much else. And yeah, I, did, I bought this particular valve line stuff because it was one of, the, one of the cheapest and I use valvoline oil. Oil is very good, so I also wanted to give a try for the other product. But yeah, as I said, it won't fix your mechanical problems. Uh, in my case, it didn't. Maybe in your world, will do something. Actually, in my case, I think it's it, it gone. It went a little bit worse, but yeah, or maybe it's the same. It didn't help too much with the stains inside the engine. Maybe it's a little bit easier to take it, to clean it now. But yeah, the engine is still shut and I will have to do something about it if I want to go to Euro trip. All right, so I think that's it in this topic. I hope you found something out of this video. I wanted to try it by myself to have the definite answer and I think I got it. Uh, the engine needs a reboot or something else if I wanted to go to, to a Euro trip, as I said before. So yeah, mm, subscribe or like or something and yeah, see you soon in the other video. Bye.